Professor Richards, can you tell me what is IANS about? IANS is about improving nursing evidence and nursing research across the whole of Europe. And IANS enables students to learn advanced research techniques, but perhaps even more importantly, to meet with other nursing researchers from all sorts of countries around Europe. I think that the Ian Summer School is very special because this is a way to unify nurses all over Europe to get together to understand each other's healthcare system and what's needed in clinical practice by research. Can you tell me what do you teach at the Ian Summer School? Well this year I've taken on a new role as senior mentor but I've also done some teaching on qualitative methods and also how to survive your PhD without losing your marbles. I uh, taught recruitment and retention, which is a, uh, an important uh, first uh, issue when, when you think about your study. In the second years, I taught uh, process evaluation, which is something um, to be done uh, in between when you're doing your study. And in the third years, I taught this year implementation, which of course is something that has to do with um, getting your results out uh, into the world. I especially teach on implementation, so how to bring things in practice, so evidence-based care, how do you get it into actual healthcare, nursing care, and how can you effectively prepare for that. I'm teaching developing complex interventions, so the modeling of interventions and outcomes. I teach uh, the evaluation of cost-effectiveness, so it's about uh, the, the measurement of the cost and the assessment of the economic impact of nursing interventions. I'm uh, teaching uh, statistics. It's um, a general course on uh, how people can use, misuse, abuse statistics in publications or in uh, science in general. Can you tell me something about your motivation to apply for the Ian Summer School? So I wanted to learn about mixed res methods research, but particularly research that has an impact on patient care and has a high potential for implementation in practice so it can make a meaningful uh, change. You want to be a good researcher and you want to have every opportunity to become a better researcher. So I think that's why we're going becoming to Ian's, because we actually get taught by the best. To become one of the best. I got this tip from a, a former PhD colleague of mine and I found it, oh, I think it was a, like an interesting option to go and learn like this method. I really was motivated to apply because I wanted to meet other PhD um, nurses from across Europe. Work with different countries and different culture and the uh, possibility to mix up uh, our uh, project and uh, different vision of nursing all over Europe, so I think it's the most important thing. I think in today's healthcare we cannot uh, solve or yeah, try to solve problems in an isolated way, so I think it was very useful that so many different people came together. Can you tell me something about your experiences so far? It was actually quite interesting uh, the last two weeks, um, especially because we met uh, some PhD researchers from all over Europe and we could actually uh, discuss how we felt about doing our PhD and so we had a, some bonding going on and well I think the second point is that we actually got a lot of a lot of information in a very short amount of time um, which is good because we're in the beginning of our PhD and we can actually uh, use it to become better researchers. Yeah, it's a, a very positive experience. I think the, the topics are very broad and every day you can learn something new uh, and also just working with people has been really interesting, learning about uh, cultural differences. It's been fantastic. It's been very intense two weeks, but we've had an amazing, wonderful group. Um, very accepting, very, um, I've learned so much from everybody. And um, it's been a very enjoyable and um, really interesting experience. I think my overall impression has been a very positive one. We've had a very great group very supportive, very collegial atmosphere and it has been a lot of hard work but a lot of fun too. Well, besides actually having an excellent lecture, I got a very good network. I've met friends and colleagues from all over Europe and it is really great. So can you tell me something about your motivation to be part of the Ian Summer School and to teach? Well, I always get more out of being here than I give, I think. 
Um, I have made many friends from all over Europe in the time I've been involved. I have learned so much about different cultures and different countries and different customs. One thing, of course, is that it's always a pleasure to see all these uh, motivated and uh, really highly skilled um, students from all over Europe and um, get in contact with them and uh, get new uh, ideas for myself. Yes, I teach since many years, since um, I would say eight years at the Ian Summer School and I'm always motivated to meet all these young students from all over Europe and uh, to exchange ideas and see how they interpret cultural issues and so it's a big fun for me and I really appreciate the opportunity. And often statistics is used in the literature, so that's why I, um, I really find it important to be here and to train all these young researchers. It's the future, it's the, it's the young people, so young people are the future of, of nursing and so it's important, so I really want to invest. So how do you survive your PhD without losing your marbles? I think it's very obvious that I didn't survive without losing my marbles. They've gone already. <laughs> but I think there are lots of things that you can do and the thing that you most do is to believe you will get there. Everybody makes it in the end, even when it seems insurmountable.